Recently, I was going through websites and came across this website, the New York Times, and, and I noticed this banner at the bottom that would open up and close, which gave me an idea. In the past, I showed off a show and hide button trick that you can use to show specific elements and hide specific elements. And that made me think that this is actually a genius thing that you can implement in your website using the same exact trick. So this is what I implemented on load. It opens up this bottom section and then gives you an offer that you can have. It kind of works similar to a pop-up, but it's just a different way to have this pop-up experience. The idea with this is that when you collapse, it actually stays at the bottom. Um, and if you set it up right, as a customer scrolling through your page and they get to a certain point where they're done with your content and they're ready to move on and they're ready to buy your thing, this section at the bottom is still accessible for your customers. This thing is super easy to implement. You just need a little bit of knowledge behind it. As usual, I'm gonna start with a, a blank template that I have, and here's my blank slate. So if you do wanna just imagine this bottom section to be a whole section, and upon hiding and showing things inside that section, it, it minimizes and expands. So when you're creating this section, it'll be kind of good to just put everything on the page and then configure what you're gonna hide and what you're gonna show. So I want to go add a new section and then go for full width. And inside that full width, um, this is kind of up to you, but um, I'm going to go with the three column layout. And what you want to put in there is an expand and a collapse button. That's the button that you'll be using to show and hide. So I'm going to put in a button here and you only need one button at the start. Um, and we can just start configuring the styles that you might want. So I'm going to start with the expand and I'm going to keep the background color go into advanced and then I want to put in a icon picker um, afterward. So inside here, if you scroll down a little bit, you should come to um, a carrot. These are pointers that go up and down. So on the expand, we want to put an up arrow because we want the users to understand what the action of expand is going to do. So on the expand, put a up arrow. Um, and I'm also going to change this theme to a flat button and take out the background color and then put the text color to black. And then I'm gonna change the font size to 14. And then on the advanced, I'm going into button line and then put this on the right. And that's just gonna put the button all the way to the right of the screen on that section. So I'm gonna add a new element of headline and this is gonna be for the expand. So um, when, it's, when it's shrunk down, I'm gonna say, hey, look at me. And then you might have noticed that I have a little icon here. I normally put a, a, a headline in here, just delete the content. Um, if you have one of the new Macs, I think you just press the FN button at the bo bottom left. So like I did before, I'm gonna put in a hand wavy sign just to get more attention. And so this kind of completes the collapsed view. I'm gonna go ahead and create the expanded view. I wanna go ahead and um, clone the button and change the expand to collapse. And then I want to go into advanced and change the angle from up to down. And now I have a collapse button. So this collapse button would show when the section is opened up and you wanna show that there is an action to collapse. And so what we wanna create is this section down here. And then also a, a new call to action. So um, inside the same box, I want to put in a another headline and I'm going to make this red. So I'm going to colors. Don't miss out on this. Um, I can go ahead and expand this here. Cool. And on expand, uh, the other thing I want to show is the deal itself. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new row. Um, this can be however you want to do it. I'll go to column right now. I'm going to go into settings and then put in a uh, some color, something like this. Um, put in some paddings, top and bottom, to right. And then I want to put in the content. So I'm going to put in an image, bullet list, um, sub headline, and then a headline. I'm gonna line that to the left. This might look a little bit crazy. 
well here it is okay and now uh last thing i want to do is i want to style up the actual section so you want to find the whole section settings so go into the section settings um, and then put a background color of white um, but you can do it in any color right so if you're looking for something that stands out more you could maybe go orange um, I might go a little bit gray this time and then I'm going to take out the bottom padding um, I'm gonna change the top padding to six and then put a border top and this border top is going to put this top line up here that's going to separate the content from uh, the foreground and the background and then I'm going to change this from three to one pixel uh, tone that down a little bit and then I want to put a drop shadow on the back and this will be the last thing we'll do here 30 percent this won't be the last thing we do the last thing we need to do is we need to set a sticky state for that section settings. So when you go into the section settings, you see um, in the size and positioning, there is something called sticky. Sticky is a cool settings that you can use for your navigation, but it could also be for things like this, where you want to stick this at the bottom of the screen. So you want to go ahead and choose stick to the bottom on load. I'm going to save and then I'm going to preview. Um, and that's how it looks. Buttons don't do anything right now, but this is what you're going to be configuring right now, just to create some sort of contextual things so that you can kind of see what's going on. I'm gonna add a new section here, uh, bring that to the top, uh, put some things in here. So now that page should look like this, and it has, it scrolls in the back as you can see, um, while keeping this section open, which is what we want. And now all we gotta do is configure what the buttons do. Let's start from the expand button up here. When the thing is open, we want to show the collapse button because we want to show what the action is going to do for that button. And then we want to show the open states. So in our example here, we want to be showing the collapse. We want to be showing this big call to action or this, this headline that we have. And then we want to show this section. And when the expand button is open, um, this is when it's minimized at the bottom of the page, we only want to just show these three elements. So um, on expand, I want to set an action in the edit action. And then I want to go into show and hide action at the very bottom. Here we can set what it's going to show and what it's going to hide um, on click. On the expand show setting, we want to show this headline. So don't miss out on this. We want to show the collapse button because we're going to be hiding the expand button as they press it. And then we want to show this whole section. So if you go into this row, that's what it's going to show. And then we want to hide things as well. So when someone clicks on the button, that specific button that they clicked on also has to disappear because it's going to be showing the other button instead. When someone clicks on expand, we want to hide the actual expand button that they clicked on. We go we also want to hide the things that were shown when it was collapsed so we want to hide hey look at me this headline and we want to hide also the hand wavy uh, emoji here let's go set up the collapse so on collapse we're going to set an action show and hide action at the bottom but when someone clicks on the collapse button we want to show the expand button so we are again taking away the button that they clicked on and then showing the button that um that should be there now when the, the section is collapsed we want to show the hand wavy signal and we want to show the hey look at me so go find those things here boom when when this thing is collapsed we want to be hiding the things that were open which is don't miss out on this, this is the headline that goes with the expanded portion um, and then also the two column row and we have to hide the button itself find that button and now you have to set a default state the default state is when someone goes onto your page and you're giving them the optimal experience that you want to show them which means you want to hide the things that you don't want them to see initially uh, which in this case are the things that would show normally when it's collapsed so you can just go into the elements that uh, you see that you don't want to see when it's expanded um, because my default view for this is going to be that when someone goes onto the page i just want it to be like open at the bottom so i find the emoji i'm going to go hide it um 
take that and then just hide um, button settings I want to hide that too um, you can kind of fix the padding a little bit in here it is a little bit huge for me personally so I'm gonna change six and there it is expand and then collapse I'm gonna put in a call to action there it is just make sure that um, when it goes onto the mobile side things it will stay at the bottom and it would open but if it's too long, uh, it might be a little hard to scroll and find the collapse button. There's also a little trick that I taught in the previous video on not stacking columns. And that'd be a good way to keep this expand and all these things in one line without having everything stack. So you can take a look at that video. You can also take a look at um, and show and hide button trick video. Combine those things and create things like this. I hope this was helpful. It's very quick and um, have a nice holidays.